which movie got too highly praised but was honestly underwhelming. Bohemian Rhapsody Bog Standard Rise Fall Then Redemption biopic that doesn't even work as a primer for the story of the band Freddy because they took so many liberties with the timeline of events. Personally, I did not like the live-action remake of Beauty and the Beast. It was very lacking for me, but it got amazing reviews everywhere. I don't understand why. Maybe I'm wrong. Bird Box After one month of non-stop memes and praise decided to give it a shot. One of the biggest letdowns after the taste of bitter. Crash didn't deserve an Oscar. It wasn't particularly deep or well made, nor was it particularly nuanced or insightful. Anyone who feels this movie is special must be I'm 14 and this is deep. It was standard Oscar bait, and it sadly worked. It is a very skippable film. Right now I'm gonna go with all the live action Disney movies, particularly the current Little Mermaid and Lion King, Pearl Harbor. 90 of the movie is a love story and has nothing to do with the actual attack on Pearl Harbor. As a fan of history and more movies it really is one of the worst. Edit sorry folks I'm wrong. Apparently it was not well liked. The Last Jedi. The plot revolves around running out of space gas while being chased. It was an objectively stupid movie. The Blair Witch Project. My go-to movie anytime a question like this is asked. I'm surprised I didn't fall asleep during the whole thing, even in a packed movie theater. Indiana Jones 4, Rambo 4, Die Hard 4, Terminator 4 and basically every fourth installment that came out with an aging star actor after a 30 year break. I'm sure there's more but can't think of any more right now. Kung Fu Panda, because I don't think those were real pandas. Likely just painted bears, and did they really do their own stunts? La La Land was highly praised but I didn't think it was all that special. Moonlight was the right decision that night. Rocky Horror Picture Show 1975 a cult classic, I just didn't get it or what was so appealing about it. Maybe Tim Curry singing in drag, but that's about it. Back in my late teens everyone I knew was obsessed with Donnie Darko. I remember watching it and thinking it was okay, not a terrible film or anything, but I knew I'd never watch it again. Citizen Kane. I'm not a filmmaker nor aspiring filmmaker, but I can appreciate the cinematography and how it was groundbreaking at the time, but the story and the acting was excruciating. I really struggled to finish it. People might disagree but I don't think Birdman was particularly good. I like the next film by the same director, The Revenant better, though I don't think it would have been as good without the incredible cinematography because the story itself was kinda lackluster. When the Star Wars sequels came out, critics were afraid to say anything bad about Disney. When the third movie came out, people realized that the first two were leading us down a bad path. Sorry, do not shoot, but Star Wars Episodes 1, 2, 3, 7, 8, 9. Okay, I am old, teens praise these movies. Half my friends were mind blown of these movies. But for me, Superman Returns. Critics loved it, the audience fell asleep through it. I know I did. Black Panther was another one, it was fine, but nowhere near as good as everyone says. It's not even the best movie with Black Panther in its civil war. Everything, everywhere, all at once. I liked it and think it was a good movie but not the masterpiece people made it out to be. Mystic River. Mediocre crime story, overacting Sean Penn and unnecessary storyline Kevin Bacon's wife. Also, how does Penn's character murder Robins and Bacon's like, okay, cool. Any of the Disney live action remakes. They're tired cash grabs, with animation that in my opinion is distractingly bad. Everything everywhere all at once. Cool idea and great acting cinematography but so long I got so bored after about an hour and a half. In my opinion, La La Land received a lot of praise but ended up being quite underwhelming for me. What about you? Which movie did you find overrated? Avatar. Some blue paint and fairy lights, and everyone lost their minds. The plot was atrocious, with plot holes you could fly one of those spaceships through. The acting, all wooden and third rate. The Tree of Life I hated it. So bored. I actually don't remember if I finished it. I remember feeling angry that Hollywood made this movie and that it received enough acclaim that I thought it was a good idea to watch it. Inception. Mumblecore sci-fi thriller. I could not hear what the actors were saying. It was baffling. Dropped sentences, mumbling. Did any of these people go to acting classes? Apparently not, but if they did, they forgot how to enunciate. I got my money back from the ticket booth. Gangs of New York laughable in places but mainly just very boring. It's like the film world closed ranks and decided that it wasn't ready for Scorsese to fail yet. But seriously I challenge anyone to argue that it's an even half decent movie. 
Without Daniel Day-Lewis it would have been unwatchable, The Banshees of Inisherin. My wife wanted to watch it. It was tedious and rather predictable, emo. I sat there thinking at least I was earning good husband points for watching it with her and she completely agreed afterward. Nope. I did try appreciating the aesthetic but I just can't. Also I am a massive slow burn media fan. One of my favorite movies Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I watched the new All Quiet on the Western Front. I get that it was good, but it wasn't that amazing I think. Don't understand how it won so many Oscars. Rogue One. Don't get me wrong it was cool, but people adored it. An emote was just a very predictable action flick. Solo was better. At least it gave us Amdor. Everything everywhere all at once. I'm not trying to be edgy about disliking something everyone likes. I probably missed something about it. Raging Bull. For years I heard it was the best movie of the 80s. When I finally saw it I thought okay, it's a boxer with a temper. May. The Descent was such a shit show. Almost everything about the movie was at least bad. But the dialogues and special was terrible cringe, just the ambient is good. This is gonna be a hot take, but yow. With the amount of hype it got at the Oscars and online, I expected to be totally captivated. It was a good movie, but underwhelming compared to the praise surrounding it emo. Raging Bulls like 4 are on the AFI Top 100 list, and it's considered one of Scorsese's best. I like a lot of his work, but I found nothing to like about this movie. It felt like it was begging me to hate it. It's just a slow movie about a guy who repeats every line he says over and over. Hereditary. I watched it expecting to get scared shitless. Like multiple sleepless nights scared shitless. They hyped it that way. I waited, and waited till the end. I didn't get it. In this thread people using the downvote button as the I disagree button, despite the very topic being things people dislike they other people liked. The Revenant. I guess it was fine but dragged on a lot at times and felt like it could have been at least like 30 minutes shorter. Star Wars. The original trilogy. I thought they were kinda fun, okay movies from the 80s. Nowhere near my favorite 80s movies. I feel like they were so successful they basically spawned a religion. I just don't see it. Shakespeare and Love has to be the greatest example of this in my memory. It won an Oscar simply because the Academy didn't want to give it to a war movie particularly one portraying American soldiers positively. Hereditary. People always bring this one up as one of the best and scariest movies, but pretty much every aspect of it just annoyed the hell of me. Guardians of the Galaxy had big problems with pacing and plotting, but everyone loved it because Lil Random. Black Swan. Everyone seemed to love it. I thought it was lacking in substance. Nobody seems to care much about it now, though. I know I'm gonna downvote it to Oblivion, but everything everywhere all at once. I didn't feel anything for the characters, the editing was ridiculously choppy and felt like it was made for the TikTok generation, apparently there was humor but I must have completely missed it. Overall a huge disappointment.